Hey, it's Laurie. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm duping three Kirkland Christmas and winter DIYs. And there's also going to be a $100 gift card giveaway. So keep on watching and I'll share the details. For my first Kirkland's dupe, I'm using a Dollar Tree sign that measures about 24 inches in length and 6 inches in width. It has a little welcome sign attached to the front, so I'm going to remove that and save that for a future project. And I'm going to remove the hanger. I'm working on the back side of the sign because it's nice and flat, but the graphic of the scarecrow was peeling right off, so I'm just going to hang on to that and maybe use it for a project in the future. I'm now using my white acrylic paint and I'm giving my sign a complete coat, making sure that none of the backing is showing through. To help my gnome stand upright on his own, I'm using a wooden 12 inch chunky slat from the Dollar Tree. It measures 12 by 1 and a half by 3 quarters and I'm measuring it flat side down against the bottom end of my sign and marking it with a pencil. I then cut it to size and I'll be painting it a little bit later. Before I start to sketch out my gnome, I'm making sure that the hanger side is on the bottom. Today's video is being hosted by the amazing Brandy from the DIY Struggle, and she's brought together a talented group of crafters who are duping through the holidays. This week's dupe is Kirkland's, and I will have the playlist linked below in my description. To enter into the $100 Visa gift card giveaway, visit each crafter on the playlist below and answer a giveaway question hidden somewhere in their video. And I'll have my question on here as well. Then leave your answer in the comments of each crafter and the last day to enter is November 9th, 2021. I'll be posting the winner on my community page on November 10th. And if you're new to my channel from the giveaway, please consider clicking that little red subscribe button below. Once again, making sure that the hanger ends are on the bottom, I'm going to attempt to sketch out my gnome using the Kirkland's gnome as my guide. As you can see, I'm definitely not an artist and I'm just starting off by adding on his nose and this gives me a center point to add on the beard and then the hat. The best part of sketching with a pencil is if you make a mistake, you can just erase it and start again. My sign is shorter than Kirkland's, so if you use the Dollar Tree board, you're going to have to kind of adjust the size, and that's all I'm doing here as I'm sketching it on. When I'm finally done, and I think he resembles the Kirkland's gnome, I'm going to paint his pants with my Soldier Blue acrylic paint. They used gray for their gnome, but I kind of wanted to change it up a bit and blue's my favorite color, so I decided to go with blue. When I finished painting his pants, I then painted the little block of wood that we cut in the beginning with the same color. With his pants complete, I'm using the same white acrylic paint and I'm just kind of cleaning up his beard. The lines on the gnome hat are in a diagonal pattern, so I'm using a pencil as my guide. Once again, I'm looking at the gnome and I'm tracing the pencils to mimic the lines on his hat. And I didn't measure them out, I just kind of eyeballed them as I went along. When I was done, I then used my lipstick red acrylic paint and I painted the sections between the lines. When I was done, I went back with a smaller paintbrush and I cleaned up my edges and I also used my white paint to cover the original lines on the ends of the white stripes. To add on his nose, I have this really thin piece of scrap wood that you can cut with scissors, so I'm cutting out an oval. You can always use a piece of cardstock or even paint the nose on directly. When I was done, I then painted mine with coral acrylic paint. When it was dry, I attached it to my gnome using some hot glue. 
To help my gnome stand on his own, I'm using the block of wood that I cut and painted earlier. I'm gluing it to the bottom of my gnome and this will also cover those hanger holes. To make his shoes, I'm using two ribbon spools and some cardboard. The ribbon spools are from the Dollar Tree and I'm tracing them onto the cardboard to make what looks like the top of a heart. I then measured them against the bottom piece of wood to get my size and then I cut them out. I double checked that they fit and then painted them with my black acrylic paint. When they were dry, I once again used my glue gun and attached them to the outside of the wooden support. To compare both gnomes, mine cost me $2 to make using Dollar Tree supplies, compared to the Kirkland's gnome for $59.99. Mine's a little smaller, but I think he's just as cute. I'm starting my next Kirkland's dupe by using these two plastic bells that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I removed the greenery and the bows from the bells and I'll hang on to those because I'll use them sometime in the future. And then using my red spray paint, I gave each of the bells a complete coat. To attach my two bells together, I'm using a piece of floral wire and I'm just running it between the two holes on the top of each bell. I'm then twisting the wire together and cutting off the excess. For my hanger, I'm using a piece of this wire jute from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just kind of deciding how long I want my hanger to be, and I'm snipping off a piece. I'm then wrapping each end of jute through the side and then up through the middle of each of the bells. And because they're wired, I'm just twisting them around to hold them in place. For my bow, I'm using a one and a half inch wired buffalo check ribbon that I already had on hand. To make my bow, I measured a tail at the bottom of my bell, and then I made four loops, making sure that they each matched the other in size, and then I gave myself another matching tail. To hold my bow together, I just wrapped a piece of floral wire around the center and twisted it together tightly. I left myself about a four inch piece of wire. And then to attach my bow to the bells, I simply wrapped the bow wire around the bell wire. I'm using two sprigs of greenery that I had on hand and I'm attaching those to the back of the bell and the bow with my glue gun. I'm then gluing these two little pine cones from my stash onto the front of the bow. To give my pine cones and greenery a hint of snow, I'm using my white acrylic paint and I'm adding some to each. When I was done, I dovetailed the ends of each ribbon, and it's super easy. All you do is fold the ribbon in half and then cut away at an angle. And like the bells I'm duping, I made some little folds in my ribbon tails. This project only cost me $2 because I bought the two bells at the Dollar Tree and used everything else that I had on hand. I think these bells came out really cute and although mine are made of plastic and Kirkland's are made of metal, mine were only $2 to make compared to Kirkland's that are $34.99. For my third Kirkland's dupe, I'm starting with a green fabric placemat from the Dollar Tree. I removed all the tags and I'm going to be working on the front side. 
My pillow has a gnome, so I'm going to be using this one from a Dollar Tree Christmas stocking. I only need the beard and the nose, so I just kind of pulled the beard away from the stocking, and then I used my scissors to remove the top part. Kirkland's pillow is square and mine's going to be rectangle, but I'm going to try to dupe it as close as I can. Their beard is a little rounder than mine, so I'm placing mine against the pillow to find the size and then I'm giving it a little trim. To make his hat, I'm going to use a piece of this navy blue felt that I had in my stash and someone had given it to me a long time ago. I cut a large triangle out of the felt just big enough so that it would cover right up to the gnome's nose and hang a little bit over the edge. I then used a marker and just kind of drew a large scallop edge on both sides. And then I used my scissors to cut it out. And when I was done, I placed both pieces where I wanted them to be on my pillow. Before I attach my two pieces, I'm going to use my ruler to make sure that they're perfectly centered in the middle of my pillow. To stuff my pillow, I'm just lifting up the gnome's beard and I'm making a slice in the top part of the fabric with my scissors. And it kind of looks like a mouth. And now I'm just using my hot glue gun to attach the beard and the hat. And I'm making sure that I don't attach the beard over the opening. With my hat and my beard attached, I'm adding on a cord accent. A friend of mine gave me a huge bag of embellishments, and you know who you are. And so what I'm going to do is use my glue gun, and I'm going to add the cord around the outside of the hat and on the upper part of the beard. I'm starting at the top of the hat so that I can hide the edge, and I'm also using my finger protector because it's really easy to get burned. My giveaway question to be entered into the $100 gift card giveaway is to leave the first name of your best friend down below in the comments. You can always leave me a message along with your answer and be sure not to let anyone know what the secret question is. Now that I have the cord attached to the hat, I'm going to add on some snowflake accents. I'm going to paint two of these wooden Dollar Tree snowflakes with my white acrylic paint. I decided where I wanted them to be placed and then attached them with my hot glue gun. I'm adding three more silver accent snowflakes by using the inside pieces of these white felt snowflakes from the Dollar Tree. I pulled off three of the silver snowflakes and added them to my hat and then I used my glue gun to attach them into place. It's finally time to stuff the pillow and I'm using some polyfill that I had on hand and I'm just stuffing it in the hole that I made under the gnome's beard. I just kept feeding in the polyfill until the pillow was nice and fluffy. When I was done, I then used my glue gun and attached the beard over the opening and sealing the polyfill in place. And now once again, I'm using my glue gun and I'm adding the same cord around the outside of my pillow. I'm adding the cord to my pillow because I'm trying to dupe the Kirkland's pillow, but if you're making this for yourself, this step is completely optional. Once again, I'm trying to dupe the Kirkland pillow, but I think this gnome pillow would be so cute in a whole bunch of different colors. When I'm done and for my final accent on the pillow, I'm using one of the pom-poms from one of these baby hats that I found at the Dollar Tree a while ago. I cut one off the top of the hat 
and then hot glued it to the top of my gnome. I love the way my gnome pillow came out and this only cost me $2 because I had everything on hand other than the placemat and the gnome stocking. My gnome resembles the Kirkland's gnome pillow and they want $24.99 for theirs and I think mine's just as cute for a whole lot less. I hope you had fun duping these Kirkland projects with me and if you're new to my channel and you're thinking, hey, I'd like to come back and hang out with her again, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below. I'll see you all very soon. Bye everybody.